Hi guys, welcome back. Today's theme is Chinese at home, and I'm cooking for the first time some dandan noodles and scallion pancakes. So let's go ahead and get started making this delicious meal. But before we do, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know the next time I post a video. Let's go. So we're getting started with our dough for the scallion pancakes. We have two cups all-purpose flour. We're going to add one and a half teaspoons kosher salt to the flour. Mix it up. Make a well. Pour out three quarter cup of the hot water. Mix it with the spoon and we'll add more water as needed. So now I'm just taking my hand and kneading the dough, trying to get it into a smooth ball. Okay, and you see I didn't use all the water. Um, now I'm going to cover this with a damp towel or a plastic wrap and let it sit for 30 minutes. Now while that's sitting, I'm gonna make my sauce for the scallion pancakes, so that's out of the way. Going to use three tablespoons of rice vinegar. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. Half teaspoon sesame oil. And a pinch of red pepper flakes. And that's it. Now I'm getting started with the sauce for the dandan dan noodles. Okay, so for the sauce, we need two tablespoons of thin sliced ginger, which I slice thin and then cut into strips. A quarter cup of sweet soy sauce, Chinese sweet soy sauce. A quarter cup light soy sauce. Two tablespoons black vinegar, Chinese black vinegar and one to two tablespoons of sambal chili paste. Now we're going to add our pepper. I should be using Szechuan pepper, but I don't have any, so I'm using black pepper. And you give that a stir and you set that aside until you're ready for it. So my water is boiling and I'm going to cook my noodles according to the package directions. I used wheat noodles that I got from my local Asian supermarket. However, in a pinch, you could use linguine noodles as well. When your noodles are cooked al dente, drain the noodles and run some cool water over them and set them aside. So my wok is hot. I'm seeing wisps of white smoke coming up. So I'm going to add my four cloves of garlic, four tablespoons of preserved vegetables. Woo! Popping. Too hot. And half a cup of chopped spinach. Too hot. It's too hot. There are many variations to this dish. Some use sesame paste and peanut butter, but I'm not using that today. And the American Chinese version of this dish tends to be a lot sweeter and a less spicy than the Chinese version. And it tends to have more meat. Originally, this dish didn't have a whole lot of meat in it. Okay, now I'm going to add in the pork. And I'm going to cook this, breaking it up. I'm adding more meat than I should. However, I wanted to use up the pork I had in my freezer. <laughs> so 
So I'm going to add three tablespoons of the Xiaoxing wine. It's probably not how you say it, but I'm going to live my life. And I'm going to add the sauce we made earlier. I'm going to let that mellow for a bit. For my pancakes, I have my dough that's been resting. I'm going to take it out and divide it into four. I'm going to dust my surface with a bit of flour and then I'm going to roll it out, dust my rolling pin with a bit of flour and roll it out to about eight inches in diameter. Roll it out. I'm going to take two tablespoons, um, just pour out some sesame oil and I'm going to brush this one with some of this oil lightly and then I'm going to roll it up, twist it, tuck this piece under, flatten it with my palm and roll it again. Now I'm going to add a little bit more oil. I'm going to add a half a cup of scallions. And then I'm going to roll this up. And do the same thing. Get some flour. Then you flatten it, and some of the um, put some flat, and some of the scallions are gonna come out as you flatten this. I roll out all four pancakes, stacking them on a plate separated by parchment. I've heated up about a quarter cup of oil in my skillet and I'm frying each pancake for two to three minutes on each side. And that's all there was to it. The noodles and meat sauce was so delicious and the scallion pancakes were nice and crunchy and salty along with that dipping sauce that I made. So I hope you guys give this a try. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you next time.